Welcome. Thanks for checking out my tutorial about a handy piece of software, Wondershare Streaming Audio Recorder. It is just one of several products offered under the Wondershare name, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to refer to the software simply as Wondershare. This software allows you to record audio from your computer's sound card, making it possible to capture virtually any online stream. You can easily record music from popular sites, such as YouTube. You can also record from music services such as Spotify, which is what we'll use today. The software is available on sites such as CNET and from Wondershare's own company site. There are free and premium versions available for both Windows and Mac. The first thing to do is open up the program and check the settings to get an idea of what the program can do. As with many applications, the settings are found by clicking the gear icon. Wondershare is a pretty simple program and has only three short settings tabs, General, Control, and Format. A quirk of Wondershare is that selecting the General tab will show the Format tab the first time you open the settings. To fix this glitch, simply click on Format and then back to General. In General, you can specify the destination folder for all recorded files and set checking updates frequency. In control, you can adjust preferences to help the software reject those audio ads and skip long pauses. The default settings work pretty well for most work. I recommend changing them only if you are experiencing a particular problem. Nothing automatic is foolproof, so if you are recording, for instance, very short audio tracks, keep in mind that they may be shorter than the typical Spotify advertisement you are trying to avoid. In format, you can switch between MP3 and M4A output formats and adjust the sample rate, encoder, and bit rate. After reviewing the settings, you're ready to go. Recording is pretty intuitive if you have used any kind of recording programs. The software has a remote control widget that looks like a green sphere that floats along the right side of the screen. To start recording, either select Record from the widget or select the red button in the upper left corner of the Wondershare main window. Notice that, unlike many similar programs, Wondershare does not immediately begin recording dead air. When there is no sound being played, the software is essentially on standby. So, to start recording, I'm going to switch over to Spotify and select a song from a previously developed playlist. You can record one song or many. If you are on a service such as Spotify, the program will ignore ads based on the settings you provide. It will also use the natural silence between songs to identify separate tracks. You do not have to return to the Wondershare window to start or stop recording. Simply use the widget. Also, you do not have to worry about leaving the page that is streaming the audio. You can continue to surf the web on other tabs or even open a new browser. Wondershare will keep on working, although it will pick up any system sounds, so you need to be careful about what you do. When you have finished recording, you'll see that the record button on the remote control widget has become a stop button. Alternately, you can return to the Wondershare window and select again the same button that you used to start the recording. When a successful recording is made, Wondershare produces a notification in the lower right corner of the screen. One of the great features that makes this software ideal for recording music is that it automatically gets the details of a recording using Gracenote, the same database that iTunes uses. The software fills in information such as artist, title, album, and genre. You can edit the information directly in Wondershare and make playlists in Wondershare, or you can export tracks to iTunes and edit the track information there. To add a track to your iTunes library, simply right-click on the track and choose Add to iTunes Library. The right-click will bring up other options, including select all tracks on the current playlist, add to a new playlist, and delete tracks. After the recording is finished, you can edit audio files manually to isolate favorite parts, create chapters or ringtones, or just have some fun. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Enjoy Wondershare.